good day, a good angels. I am Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinee episode. Today, we will learn about inscribed angles and intercepted arcs. Are you ready? But before we start, kindly prepare yourself learning module, your pen, and paper to write your solutions and answers as we progress with our discussion. Also, look for a place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. And most importantly, prepare yourself to watch and listen carefully. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to derive inductively the relations among chords, arcs, central angles, and inscribed angles. Proves theorems related to chords, arcs, central angles, and inscribed angles. So, what is inscribed angle? An inscribed angle is an angle that has its vertex on a circle and its sides are chords of the same circle. In the given example, point B is the vertex of the angle, while line segment AB and line segment CB are the chords of the circle, which is also considered as the sides of the angle, while arc AC is the arc intercepted by the inscribed angle ABC. Aside from the definition of inscribed angle, you also need to familiarize yourself about the different theorems related to it. The first one is the inscribed angle theorem. It states that the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. In the given example, the measurement of angle ADC is equal to the one half of the measurement of the arc AC. For example, if the measurement of angle ADC is equal to 50 degrees, the measurement of arc AC is equal to 100 degrees. The second one is the congruent inscribed angles theorem. It states that inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent. In the given example, angle ADB and angle ACB intercepted the same arc, which is arc AB. Meaning to say that the measurement of angle ADB is equal to the measurement of angle ACB. B. Aside from that, we also have angle DAC and angle DBC which intercepted the same arc which is arc DC. Therefore, the measurement of angle DAC is equal to the measurement of angle DBC. The third one is the semicircle theorem. An angle intercepts a semicircle if and only if it is a right angle. And anytime a right angle is inscribed in a circle, the endpoints of the angle are the endpoints of a diameter. And the diameter is the hypotenuse. In the given example, arc AC is a semicircle and angle ABC is a right angle and the endpoints of the angle are the endpoints of a diameter which is the diameter AC. In short, as long as the intercepted arc is a semicircle, the measurement of the inscribed angle is always 90 degrees. And the last one is the cyclic quadrilateral. It states that when a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, the interior angles add up to 360 degrees. 
and both pairs of opposite angles are supplementary. In the given example, the interior angles of the quadrilateral are angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. Following the cyclic quadrilateral theorem, if we add angle A and angle B, angle C, and angle D, the total is 360 degrees. And as mentioned in the given theorem, both pairs of opposite angles are supplementary. Meaning to say, if we add them, we will be having 180 degrees. In the given example, the opposite of angle A is angle C. So if we add them, we will be having 180 degrees. And the next one, the opposite of angle D is angle B. So if we add them, we will be having 180 degrees. Now that you've learned about the different types of theorems related to inscribed angle, it is time for us to solve for the following example. Number 1. Find the measurement of arc DC and the measurement of angle ADB. Applying the inscribed angle theorem, the measurement of angle DBC is equal to the half the measurement of arc DC. In the given example, the measurement of angle DBC is equal to 45 degrees and arc DC is unknown and we will represent it by X. So our equation would be 45 degrees is equal to half the measurement of x and through cross multiplication we will be having 45 degrees multiplied to 2 then equal to x and 45 degrees multiplied to 2 is equal to 90 degrees the value of arc dc is equal to 90 degrees and as for the measurement of angle ADB, we will also apply the inscribed angle theorem. The measurement of angle ADB is equal to the half of the measurement of arc AB. In the given example, angle ADB is unknown, so we will represent it by X. And arc AB is equal to 76 degrees so our equation would be x is equal to half of 76 degrees and half of 76 degrees is equal to 38 degrees therefore the measurement of angle adb is equal to 38 degrees Let's proceed to example number 2. Find the measurement of angle ADB and angle ACB. As we can see in the figure, angle ADB and angle ACB intercept the same arc, which is arc AB. Therefore, we will follow the congruent inscribed angles theorem wherein the measurement of angle ADB is equal to the measurement of angle ACB. Doing that, we don't need to solve for the two unknown. We can just solve for the first one which is the measurement of angle ADB. And now following the inscribed angle theorem, we have the measurement of angle ADB is equal to the half the measurement of arc AB. In the given figure, the unknown is angle ADB, so we represent it by X. And the measurement of arc AB is 124 degrees. 
Our working equation now is x is equal to 1 half of 124 degrees. And 1 half of 124 degrees is equal to 62 degrees. Then, the measurement of angle ADB is equal to 62 degrees. Therefore, if the measurement of angle ADB is 62 degrees, then the measurement of angle ACB is also 62 degrees. Example number 3. Find the measurement of angle DAB in circle C. As we can see in the figure, angle DEB intercept a semicircle, which is the arc DB. Therefore, we will follow the semicircle theorem. So, without solving, we can say that the measurement of angle DAB is equal to 90 degrees because it intercepted a semicircle. And for our last example, Find the measure of angle WXY. As we can see in the figure, we have a quadrilateral that is inscribed in a circle. Therefore, we will follow the cyclic quadrilateral theorem, wherein it states that opposite angles are supplementary to each other. In the given example, the opposite of angle WXY is angle WZY. Therefore, if we add them, we will be having 180 degrees. Angle WXY is our unknown, so we will represent it by X. And the measurement of angle WZY is given, which is 69 degrees. Therefore, our working equation is x plus 69 degrees equals 180 degrees. And transposing 69 degrees, we will be having x which is equal to 180 degrees minus 69 degrees. And 180 minus 69 is equal to 111 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of angle WXY is equal to 111 degrees. You did great in watching and listening. I hope you are now confident to answer activities that are related to inscribed angles and intercepted arcs. Again, this is Teacher Anna and see you on another Matinee episode.